Hello, that was Nick for today. I'm going to show you my iPod Touch collection. So here's my iPod Touch collection so far. Back tomorrow, I'm already starting to look for the fifth generation iPod Touch of fifth generation. My latest one, the fourth. Let me turn my light up so you can see this a little better. Okay, so here we go. Here's the very first generation iPod Touch. Started it all. Cost like $300 for this thing back in the day. 8 gigs, iPod Touch first gen. No speaker, no volume controls, just a headphone jack and charger and a power button. And this is a Wi Fi antenna for the iPod Touch. And I see back then they used Chrome finishing back then. And compared to the first iPhone, so here's the first iPhone compared to the first iPod Touch. See, on the iPhone, they just use aluminum, plastic. On this one, they use Chrome and plastic. Tell me, comment below, which kind of metal do you like better on, the, on your device that's Chrome or aluminum? Because this thing, iPod Touch, runs the exact same OS as my iPhone 2G does. Here are some differences I can see already. This iPod Touch has no microphone like this one has, so that's why I see no voice modes on here. There's no phone on here, no messages, because iMessage didn't exist back then. And the iPod Touch couldn't call. No phone app. And the iPod Touch had music, a separate music from videos app. Which the first iPhone had iPod back then. I see that. Those two didn't separate again until I was five. That's when I was five brought the music and videos app to the iPhone. Then next came the second generation with integrated volume controls and a speaker. And it ran the same OS as the iPhone 3G, but it has no in but here's the iPhone 3G. Here's the second generation iPhone and iPod Touch together. The 3G to the iPod Touch second gen. And the difference I can see is the iPhone 3G did not support Game Center or an iPod iPod like the second gen did. Pretty amazing. And the battery percentage, the iPhone 3G and the iPod the second gen didn't get the battery percentage or the home screen wallpapers. But if you're wondering how, how I enabled the wallpapers and the battery levels, because I reprogrammed these two to do it. Same for these two, for the battery percentage, I reprogrammed them to get it. So, that's definitely, that's the iPhone 3G. And now that's the second iPod Touch. This thing has no camera app, so that's why the contact there. With iOS 4.2.1 with folders. Let me turn my thing back on. Next came the third generation. A little bit faster. It's a little bit faster, but battery life went down as a, as a result. Which support everything in. The iPod the third gen is iMessage. Because this thing runs iOS 5. So... I went to the third gen with the first one to get iMessage on here. And it's a bit fast performance, but the same design as the second gen iPod Touch. But it supported multitasking and home screen wallpaper supported multitasking, but still no better percent. So I am I enabled it by code. So it supported a little bit faster, better performance. Because the iPod the third gen used Samsung back then to run the software. See iOS 5.1.1. 32 gig. So that was the third gen. And the fourth gen was a complete redesign. First one to feature a camera on both front and rear. And first one to feature FaceTime in iOS 6. And a speaker moved from the charger port right to here. And the first one to get a microphone on the iPod Touch. The fourth gen. Run the iOS 6. Go back section. This one runs iOS 6.6. Same one, the 3GS. Like the, in the fourth gen iPod Touch, we're well, the first one to get a gyroscope for the iPod Touch, just like the iPhone 4. Pretty amazing. So that's the, that's the iPod Touch collection. And you might be amazed about one little thing the software. I'll show you the software again. Turn it on these two. About. But here's the cool little thing these run a version apart from each other. Like one, this one, three. This, this one's iOS 3 iOS 4, iOS 5, and iOS 6. So they're, they're, all these app adventures are a version apart. One version apart from each other. 3, 4, 5, 6. See this? Let me get my camera in focus. 3.13, 4.2.1, 5.1.1, 6.1.6. Because the iPod Touch 4th gen still had a chrome finishing, but it's a little cleaner. But it was the first one in the iPod Touch 4th gen. Was actually the first one to get separate volume controls for each other, like up and down separate.
you know, that is my iPod Touch collection. If you're wondering why I collected these iPod Touches, it was because of everything on Pro's video. It's because of this speak, iPod Touch speech has this comparison. All the, every iPod Touch speed test from everything Apple Pro, the one who knows more about the OS than I do. Like, he, he finds more features than I do, but I know advanced part of it, which he does not. Like, how to get the wallpapers, power percentage on the old device without jailbreaking. Way to get untethered hey theory without jailbreaking. Like, on the iPad, like, how you don't have the M9 co-processor, where it says Siri, when it says when connected to power. But I know how to reprogram it, so it works without being plugged in. So, Ian, put things into perspective. The same reason for my iPhone collection because of his speed test video. That's the very same reason why I got the iPhones because of the speed test video. So that is my iPod Touch. I have my iPod Touch collection for right now. I'm getting a fifth gen like sometime tomorrow. That's it for this video. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and send this video. Peace out.